I'm willing to make a deal. I made one already, one that brought back 150 hostages, 117 alive, and I'm committed to return the remaining 101. I'll do everything I can to get them in. But leaving Philadelphia does not advance the release of the hostages because the deal cannot be advanced. They'll, they'll keep, they'll give you a minor part if they give anything, keep the rest. Go and argue. You know when they started giving us hostages? When we went into Philadelphia, when we went into Rafah, when we controlled the Rafah crossing, that's when they felt the pressure. As long as they didn't feel the pressure, they wouldn't do it. The first batch, the first deal that we got was a result of our invasion, the military pressure we put in, they gave us the hostages. After that, they thought, well, you know, we'll have the international pressure turn on Israel, so we won't have to do, we won't have to make any concessions. But after Rafah, their tune changed. And they began to change. If we leave Rafah, if we leave the Philadelphia quarter, there won't be any pressure. We won't get the hostages. I said I'm willing to make a deal. The real obstacle to making a deal is not Israel. And it's not me. It's Hamas. It's Sinwar. On uh, April 27th, I put forward a proposal by Israel, which uh, Secretary Blinken called extremely generous. On May 31st, having met Blinken again, I said we agreed to the US-backed proposal, and Hamas refused. On August 16th, the US for brought forth what they call the final bridging proposal. Again, we accepted, Hamas refused. On August 19th, Secretary Blinken said, Israel accepted the US proposal, now Hamas has to do the same. On August 28th, that's a week ago, the deputy CIA director said, Israel showed seriousness in the negotiations. Now Hamas make the deal, must make the deal. This was last week. So I ask you, what has changed? What has changed in this week? What's changed is that they murdered six of our hostages in cold blood. Now the world will seriously demand that Israel make concessions after this massacre? What message does this send to Hamas? I'll tell you what the message is. Murder more hostages, you'll get more concessions. That's not only illogical. It's not only immoral. It's downright insane. So it's not going to happen. We have red lines. Before the murder, they haven't changed. We'll hold to them. But we also have had flexibility. And I'll tell you one thing. Hamas will pay for this. That, that you can be assured. We'll make sure that we extract them, that price from them. But we are firm on our red lines, including the Philadelphia corridor, for the reasons I described here. I'm flexible where I can be. I'm firm where I have to be.